Hey, what's up everybody? It's Patty Sampson and today I'm going to talk about why I built my own CRM in today's Engage More Secrets podcast. So the big question is this, how are real estate pros like us not converting more of our expensive real estate leads to sales? How is it we're spending thousands of dollars and in investing uncountable hours lead generating, but only closing about 1% of our leads? How can we do this more efficiently and effectively and make way more money, but still have a personal life? These are the questions and this podcast will give you the answers because the money is in the follow-up. My name is Patty Sampson and welcome to Engage More Secrets. So you know what, here's the deal. So I have been a real estate agent for Let's see, I got my license in early 2004. I just spent 17 years working in the legal field. I had been working for attorneys, automating and creating stuff for them for years. Anyway, so I go out and I get my license like a crazy woman in 2004, quit my job cold turkey as a paralegal, pretty successful one, I'm, I must say. But I'll tell you what happened. I sat there and could not believe that I was pushing paper from right to left. I was really ready to put a gun to my head. So anyway, what happened was I went and got my real estate license. <laughs> I had two teenage boys at home. When I got out, the first uh, couple of jobs I had in the real estate world were working for brokers that really didn't give me a whole lot of help. And so what I realized was I needed to get some leads. So I went to work for a company that was giving me, uh, I would say about 150, 200 leads a month. And anyway, what ended up happening was, is I worked in my very first CRM. And what I knew at that time was that had I not had some systems in place or a follow-up plan that I could not be taking care of my kids and going out and showing homes and then making sure that I could close real estate sales. So ended up working this business the best I could in this software. Well, I had no idea what a CRM was back in 2004. In fact, back then, we didn't even have the ability to create like automated drip flows, drip campaigns where I could build them automatically. So I was typing my little 100 word a minute fingers off at the time. And so I just put them all into a sequence and I gave all of my um, leads a number. There was basically a code that I had to give my give them. Well, the great part was is that I had spent years typing pretty fast and I was able to take what was going on in here, my customer service side kicked in and put it down onto my computer. So as a result then what, what I was able to do at that point early in my real estate career was to automate. I basically had a plan. Sometimes I'd give my kid copying pasting fees where he would take some uh, copy of something I had and I t taught my 11 year old how to copy and paste. <laughs> so um, I had subject lines, I had bodies of emails. Anyway, long story short, this stuff worked. I closed 42 sales my first year working these real estate leads from online that I was getting from this company. Well, time went by and um, as I started getting farther and farther into my real estate career, I tried really hard to get this automated as much as I could and I've worked in many other CRMs. Okay, so we cut a few years later. I've done a lot in my career. Um, so I spent years training other people how to use their CRM because this to me, was the money. This was, I realized that the money was in the follow-up. It wasn't in these leads I was getting. I mean, the leads could land in your lap all day long, but if you didn't have some way to communicate with these people and stay in front of them while you were out showing homes and running around, this, this was going to be a problem. So I got fortunate enough to figure this out kind of at an older age. I was in my mid forties by the time I was able to start really automating my business the way it needed to be. And so after a time went by, I uh, started helping people with their follow-up because I knew how important it was. I had um, built a huge team of agents and uh, tried to train them <laughs> and, and gave them the content that I was, that I was creating and they did well as, as, 
as they possibly could and then uh, realized after a while that you know I'd been working in other people's CRMs and I was training people in other people's CRMs and the challenge I had really honestly working in other CRMs that I've been in and I can tell you I've been in a lot I've been in Prospect Converter I've been in Boomtown Line Desk has been one of the the top ones that I had trained on many of you might recognize me from there and um, it wasn't until this past year that I realized honestly that um, it was time for me to find a home for my proven uh, training and my content so when I'm working in other people's systems and the software maybe doesn't do what I want it to do uh, sometimes it's slow sometimes it's not doing what I expected it to do sometimes my emails weren't going where they needed to go I had to have a, a rude awakening at, uh, this past year and a half really about do I want to keep doing this and and because my goal is to help you and everyone including my own business to be able to close more deals and so closing more deals means follow-up better follow-up better tools better understanding of what it is we're doing in our systems and and that's been the biggest challenge I think for most real estate professionals is like we don't really uh, know how to use our CRMs. I mean, it's challenging for many of us. And so why I could give you, I always tell agents when they call me and say, I want your drip campaigns, I want your drip campaigns. Well, I always ask, are you happy in the CRM you're in? Because if it's not working for you or you don't know how to use it, the bottom line is I could give you drip campaigns till I'm blue in the face, but you know, I'll be shoving you off out into the ocean without any paddles to get back to shore because I can't stand behind your computer and turn off your campaigns or edit them for you on a daily basis if you feel you need to do that. Um, the whole goal really was to be able to provide content and help our agents that I've worked with through setup, organization. Um, and when I built my own CRM, what I was realizing was is that I had way more control and understanding of the system and the process. And um, honestly, a much bigger love for what I'm doing to help agents because I know that I have control over making it better, right? So I could go to all the other CRMs that I've worked in and say, I think you should do this and trust me, <laughs> you have no idea how many hours I have spent in other systems talking to the owners and the software companies to say, do you realize that if it, we just tweaked it this way or you just said this in your drip campaign or you just did that? Because um, I learned, I mean, I sold 42 homes my first year working these internet leads, thousands of them I was getting. By the way, I don't know if you heard, but I opened about eight to 10,000 doors here in the beautiful Phoenix, Scottsdale area when I got my license through those years. Um, mostly as a buyer's agent, not gonna lie, it was a lot of work. And you know, it's summertime here and it's hot, you know? So um, that's a lot of work to be out running around, but I did learn a lot and I learned that the money is in the follow-up, that just going out and buying the cheapest CRM that you could get because your, your MLS gave it to you or your lender gave it to you or your broker provides it, that's great if they do that, but are they giving you the training and are, are they providing you the help that you need to really get to the nitty gritty of how to make it work so that it can actually work for you and not against you? Um, our biggest thing is cleaning our database up, you know? So it's just so important. And there, you know, I always tell everybody, there's two really, really important things you must know about everybody in your CRM. And if your CRM you're in now can't help you understand what this is or how to find it or how to set it up so you can search for it it's probably not the crm you want um, because it's not just about loading up your database full of a bunch of humanity that you can't search for our goal is to have you find the hottest business in your database every day when you get up and that this is your office. And I built my CRM to be um, help you identify who the hottest people are in your database every day. And, and even though it may not be connected with your website and all the activity or the MLS, because I get that a lot, hey, I can't see what searches are going on in my other CRM, can you do that? Well, most CRMs can't do that, you know? And so the reality is it's, it's not just about contact 
or contact relationship management, it, it's, it's about also really being able to identify how you're able to work with the right people at the right time. You know, Can you see when they're poking their heads up and telling you they're ready? And how that happens is when you're sending out better content which my system has now because I could build all my proven campaigns. They work, you know, I, uh, it's everything from the subject line down to the content, to the calls to action. You know, if you can see the activity that people are, are doing because of their engagement with you, they're opening your mail, they're clicking links, they're writing you back, they're texting you back. Um, and once you turn it on, or if it goes on automatically, because our systems, my system can set that up for you, where it will automatically communicate with the lead when it comes in, and you know that you're not losing business because uh, you didn't have something set up, and you're out showing homes, or you're out taking listings, and you, these leads are coming in, and you can't manage all that. But if you could get up tomorrow and have this thing run, and tomorrow you could see who is clicking, and who is opening, and, and people writing you back and asking you for help, instead of you out there trying to figure out, all right, I got a database. It's full of a huge amount of people. I'm coming in every day. Well, maybe. I, a lot of people don't go into their CRMs because they don't know what to do when they get in there, right? We want this to be the place that you will come in and actually find the hottest business every single day. If you had 30 minutes to go in and um, find that business, could you find it in, uh, right on your dashboard? And uh, so I built this system because I couldn't get the other CRMs to, to really work the way I felt they could work. You know, when you had to work 10,000 leads uh, over a long, I mean, it was more than that uh, through the years I was doing this. But um, the reality is, how are you going to do that while you're out actually trying to work, your real, work in your real estate business and then maybe also have a personal life, which is a tough thing in this business. If you're really working a lot of leads, it's hard to do all that. So goal here is, is to get a better CRM. Now, I hope you come and check out mine, uh, but if you don't, no matter what CRM you're in, when people say to you, you should use this one, you should use that one, you really need to investigate what's in that CRM that helps you in your business because what helps maybe some other people in their CRMs, maybe like I heard the other day, company says, I, we're rolling out a new uh, CRM that we partnered with somebody and it's all about the dialer. Well, you know what? I've talked to and trained agents from coast to coast, <laughs> thousands of them in this. And to be honest with you, most people don't use dialers. Uh, I, it would be great if you could. A lot of people don't like them. So what's more important to you? That's the point I'm trying to make is like you have to go into your CRM and know what it does and know what you need for it, right? Well, because I've done so much training in this for years, helping agents, because my passion for the rest of my business life is to help us hardworking sales, real estate, mortgage, whatever it is you're selling, to convert more of these expensive, time-consuming leads. And so the only way I could make this happen, the way I felt it needed to get done, was to build my own and create and, and, and really get it working. So. Just as a side note, um, I am not a uh, CRM technology. I didn't build this myself. I had help. <laughs> so, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to find a company that built this, helped build this for me, but they've been in the business a long time and they're fast and they're powerful. And what I was able to do was build it for us, what I call high maintenance real estate world, because we're not out selling teeth whitening kits, right, you guys? we have to stay in front of our consumers a long time. It takes time. People don't come on today. They don't get feel trustworthy. I mean, they need to feel like they trust you. They need to feel they're getting something from you, uh, not just how great you are, because we all know you're great, but they don't care about that. They won't care about that until they're ready to actually do something. So we want to stay in front of them with good stuff. And so when, when we can stay in front of them with the content that we know is going to get response, get our mail open, and then get a response because we have calls to action, then the action is going to start to happen. And we'll be able to do the two most important things we need to do in our CRM. That is number one, do, do we know if they're buyers or sellers or sphere people? And number two is what's their status, okay? Because when we know those two things, we'll be able to put them in buckets 
bike buckets and we'll be able to say that bucket's getting this campaign and this bucket's getting this one you turn it on you let it run and you don't have to worry about going in and doing anything until they tell you to either stop which isn't very often because we're sending better stuff or they tell you i'm ready and then you need to know how do i shut the thing off right so you do need to learn it so the great thing is is i understand this because i've been training on forever in this business and what i do get is that training is number one because you're going to have drip campaigns till you're blue in the face but if you don't know what you're doing so so your crm also has to be able to do that and of course i built that too so hundreds i've got probably right now as of april of 20 it's it's may of 2020 i have about 120 easy step by step follow these steps training videos so that i can i basically took every bit of knowledge from every crm and i've been in a lot of them and brought them all into this amazing CRM that I built for you, the real estate professional specifically. And I'm hopeful that um, the rest of the world will realize how wonderful Engage More CRM is because it is the place that I have built for my home and my real estate career. And now my consulting business is all there and um, it's working fabulously for me and many others. So anyway, I'm just, taking the moment to tell you this is why um you know i have had my fun and joy in other crms i've been in i'm not bashing any other crm i've been in but this is the place in the home for me and um, many hundreds of agents have already come in it's only been a couple of months so uh, we want you to come in too so check it out um, if you don't want to check it out i hope what i mentioned to you about how you need to be able to manage your database in your crm and that you choose one that actually works for you and your business not what that guy said you should use okay because that guy's business is different than yours okay all right, so that's it for today's podcast. By the way, this is my first podcast <laughs> and there's gonna be many more. So make sure you subscribe because I want you here and don't miss any more tips because there's a ton more to come. I got a list, I mean, a mile long. I've been, I've been creating lists like crazy of stuff I wanna tell you, okay? So let's get in here and get some more deals done. All right, stop spending money until you get your follow-up in place. Please subscribe, see you later. If you want more tips like this to automate, engage, and convert your expensive leads faster than ever before, be sure to subscribe to our Engage More Secrets podcast right here on this channel. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All our links are in the description. Get ready to join the movement to stop the madness and increase your ROI. Because the money is in the follow-up.